So in today's video, I'm going to use the example of the housing shortage to give you an idea of how a price ceiling below the equilibrium, equilibrium price have a powerful effect on the market. So here is our housing shortage and here is our graph. You can see that in this graph, um, we're going to have our equilibrium rent at $800. And then we're going to have a rent ceiling. So let's just draw a line to represent our rent ceiling here. And for the sake of coloring, let's make this red. No, I don't want you anymore. Okay, so our rent ceiling, what we found our rent ceiling would be, it's, our rent ceiling is $600. So that's that. So we set it up to show the effects of rent ceiling that is below the equilibrium rent. Our equilibrium rent is $800 and our rent ceiling is $600 a month. So the equilibrium rent, which is here, it is in the illegal region and everything above the rent ceiling so everything above the rent ceiling let's change colors for the sake of making this visually appealing so you can see all these black lines I'm drawing well the black lines I'm drawing is what we call the illegal region illegal region and our red line was our rent ceiling. This was our rent ceiling. Rent ceiling. Okay, so all's good so far. Now at the rent ceiling, we could see that the quantity demanded exceeds the quantity supplied. And you can see this here with the quantity demanded being 80. So 80 people demand 80 people in the market demand the housing at the price of 600 but for providers there are there are only 40 providers in the market willing to provide that housing at, at a price of $600 so the quantity of housing demanded exceeds the quantity supplied and let's just write that down the rent set below equal to rent the quantity of housing demanded exceeds seeds quantity of housing supplied which equals a shortage so from that there's a shortage of housing and right remember in this equilibrium the quantity of housing supplied is equal to the quantity of housing demanded because well they're equal that's short story now because the legal price uh, cannot eliminate the shortage other mechanisms operate because we can't get to equilibrium and cannot eliminate this shortage that we're having, which, uh, let me draw it, which is here. This area is the shortage, right? And because we can't reach the equilibrium price because it's at uh, the illegal, re illegal region, we can't eliminate that shortage. Other mechanisms uh, operate and those are trajectories and a black market which we will talk about probably in the next video but in this case with this housing shortage uh, some people actually are willing to pay more so people are willing to pay up to a maximum of like thousand dollars a month so this is what uh, some people are willing to pay up to max people would pay Oops. Would pay. So let's just draw a line to make this visually appealing. So yeah. So that's the max amount that people will pay for the quantity demanded with this housing shortage. Just draw a straight line uh, on the quantity supplied, and when that line intersects the the demand curve then that's the maximum that people are willing to pay and that's usually how it's done on your tests and we can finish this sentence off saying that rent ceiling below equilibrium rent equals a shortage a shortage I hate this lag that I'm having shortage of houses And that's that. That's 
uh, how it is for our housing shortage. And I hope you learned something. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. In the next video, we'll talk about search activity and a black market. But other than that, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys again in the next video.